It's a sight that millions of Brits are hoping to see repeated this summer. The Union flag was proudly raised aloft into gold medal position to the backdrop of the national anthem at Hampshire's Royal Navy Base HMS Collingwood. And servicemen and women hope they will get the chance to do exactly the same again this summer when the London 2012 Olympic Games get underway. Personnel from the Royal Navy, the Army and the Royal Air Force were at the base in Fairham to be trained in the art of ceremonial flag raising. Some 176 members of the armed forces will become the official flag bearers at more than 800 victory ceremonies at London 2012. But one member of the team knows exactly what it's like to stand on the Olympic podium. This is my first time ever trying to raise a flag for the Olympics and it's been great for me because it's a new, whole new experience for me. Um, after being an athlete that was actually been in the Olympics, trying to raise a flag for the Olympics is going to be a great opportunity for me. I was in Athens Olympics 2004 and I was in Nigeria then in which I got a bronze medal for the relays. I actually started for Nigeria and in Beijing I was one of the favourites to get a medal but unfortunately I got injured the day before the 100 metres because the year before I was fourth in the world so hopefully I should have gotten a medal but things happened and I think it really made me change my insight to know what I want to really do in life. Mm. So how much now are you looking forward to taking part in the Olympics obviously on a, a completely different level? Um, when I left Beijing, I never knew I'd be coming back to the Olympics again because I was thinking that's me over. And the Royal Navy has given me the opportunity again to come and actually raise a flag and know the experience of what's been happening for the people behind. Because climbing a podium is something totally different and now raising the flag is going to be something a new, new experience for me. The servicemen will now travel to London next week ahead of the big kickoff on July the 27th.